You guys like my fence? I stained it myself. It's looking pretty fresh now. Got a nice maple stain on it. This fence took me like an hour to stain because I didn't have the proper paint brushes for it. That was a pain in the butt. My cat has also been losing weight. He's no longer a uh, fat little says dog on it, so yeah, that was a mistake. But he doesn't seem to mind. I've also uh, been doing a lot of taxidermy lately. What that is is uh, pretty much um, the preservation of animals, whether it be skulls or stuff them up. This one's a dragon. I'm just kidding. This is an eel. And here's a knife that I made. It's looking pretty fresh. It's kind of rusted because I didn't take good care of it. But oh yeah, this is a this is an armavid, not a vlog. Yes, it is partially finished, and um, you know, I've done the upper body. Right, that's just a respirator. Just put that there so it looks cool. But let me put it on and show you guys what it's about. Dude. You can wear it with just about nothing. You can be naked and wear the armor, but it's only tagged me off. So I'm going to be wearing this jacket that I have. So first thing we got to put on is these uh, shoulder pieces. I didn't just... And so here we are. This is the shoulder pieces. These are actually called spoulders, but I'm just calling them shoulder pads. Now for the chest play. Just like that, you have a pretty, I mean, well, I have lightweight, but well-protective suit of armor that will defend against knives, uh, bricks, which is a very popular riot um, weapon used. Baseball bats, hammers, ba uh, wooden baseball, I already said baseball bats, um, batons, steel batons, steel pipes, uh, U-locks, they will protect against pretty much any thing that has like bludgeoning force because this is made to take impact and now uh, it's also meant to stop blades but something that it cannot stop is bows and arrows, crossbows, and fucking guns. This is not bulletproof. So pretty much if someone shot an arrow at you it would penetrate the armor but it wouldn't go all the way through but it'd still hit you like underneath. Even though this is thick stuff it will still penetrate it because that's a lot of velocity coming from a freaking bow. As for melee weapons these are its vicious enemy, but pretty much anything that has a lot of weight behind it and has a small striking surface such as a um oh, the spike sorry it's a the spike and this one here is a pickaxe but it can still be used as a warhammer these things will definitely definitely pierce through pretty much any part of the armor so yeah spikes are a big no no spears definitely no spears this thing will definitely penetrate the armor. That being said, just because it can penetrate the armor, it doesn't mean the armor is shit. Each armor is designed with different attributes and traits in mind. So let me go through what I designed this for. Riot armor. Really in a riot, you're going to be facing a lot of people with um, like bricks and baseball bats and uh, all sorts of things such as random objects, poles, pipes, you name it. Fences, mailboxes, riots. Riots are very hectic and they are very, very much violent. And anyone will use whatever they can find and use it against you. And that would usually be stuff on the streets, such as uh, well, poles, bricks, cinder blocks. And if they have pepper spray, they'll pepper spray you too. And all sorts of things. Some people will even carry knives. Some people will be carrying guns. But I'm in Australia, so I usually don't get guns. We usually have knives, people with knives. They're usually kitchen knives, they're not usually combat orientated knives, such as this uh, cold steel tanner with a very acute tip. No one is going to get a freaking knife through like five millimeters thick of aluminum steel just by standing. Like if you were to stand up and thrust at them, you wouldn't be able to get this thing through unless they were like on the ground and you had a hammer strike, you'd get this through definitely. If they took the knife, and stab it, you can see it kind of catches, right? That's because aluminum is soft steel. Now it can scratch easier. That means if someone was to stab you, it would just catch on onto these uh, little treads right here. And you don't really want it sliding, because like, what's the whole point of making armor if it's just gonna slide and hit another part of your body? You want it to be protected as hell, so yeah. These are actually 
um, what is it, Zed on Alpha's design, and I love his channel. A lot of my builds are inspired off him. This entire armor is actually inspired off him, if I didn't mention that. Um, the only difference is that it's just custom fit to my needs. Belly is actually missing, just like in Crouch. Don't want to be able to crouch, you know? And then the back is much more uh, armored all the way around, except for the top part here. That's because I want to be able to uh, move my head upwards. Full mobility with this. I want a full range of motion. So this thing is a uh, full range of motion as it is. Um, I don't know about his, but his is made for his needs. Mine's made for my needs. And there is a certain theme going on here. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, I don't know, maybe a swordsman's armor, which is pretty much why I made this. Made it to be unison with a Badao, Chinese Badao. I personally am not Chinese, but I'm Filipino. This is probably my favorite weapon, the Chinese Badao. Um, probably because I love its cleaving power. Dang, my face just got really white over the. Wow, I, just, I turned white, guys, I turned white. Probably because I'm failing my mats and uh, pretty much school in general. I got all, all E's so far. Now, the shoulder pads are probably my favorite part about the armor, they just fit so good and they're so comfortable. I use gel fit knee pads for this. Now I still need to make a lot um, of improvements. Additions to the armor, I still need to make my uh, gauntlets, which I still need to do that. And I'm gonna make an infinity gauntlet. Nah, just kidding. I'm gonna make some uh, splitted band braces. And I might even do like a helmet incorporating this little gas mask. Um, that'll probably protect from like chemical attacks and um, you know, impact for the head, because I haven't done a helmet yet, so uh, that will be a uh, pretty challenging job. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. So, um, but yeah, that's the armor so far, and I love it so far. It is pretty much everything I've ever needed it to be. It's lightweight, it's protective, it was pretty easy to make as well. And it was also pretty expensive to make, let me tell you that. I do hope no one thinks I'm a madman for making all of these like armors and knives and things. But like, I do live in Logan, so might need it.